my name is Tony Henderson Mayers. I'm a television, radio, relationship, and business expert, author, and entrepreneur. And most people know me as Wise Courtship, but they were smart enough to know that I was an entrepreneur because I developed all of these brands, created streams of income, owned several businesses, and much more. And so I'm going to be talking to you about creating streams of income easily right after this. <laughs> so excited to share with you creating streams of income easily um, because I believe this is going to be a straightforward and helpful video for you and I'm going to try not to make it too long but in the interim can you like comment and subscribe and ring the bell so that you will know every time I upload a new video. I do videos mostly on creating streams of income um, making money online, different things like that. And also, of course, relationships, because that's how most of you know me. And um, I will also have some videos of faith, faith-based videos too, as well. So check out this channel. I, I'm varied because I'm a varied person and I like to do things that I really like to do on my channel. So with that being said, let's get into the content. Well, first of all, if you're going to create streams of income easily, the first thing that you want to do is to figure out your expenses. Yeah. I'm going to give you a no nonsense, you know, because sometimes people talk about topics and it's so theoretical and they never really get down to the nitty gritty of it. But we, I, the one nitty gritty thing that I would say is that you need to figure out what your expenses are. Now, don't get scared, okay? Because this is not going to be something that says, that, you know, you got to, you know, save your money and you got to do this. I just want you to have a good handle on what it takes to run your entire household, okay? Does it take $1,000, 2000 4000 I want you to figure that out. And you can round up, okay? Round the numbers up. So for instance, if it's um, $103 for your, I don't know, internet bill, then you want to round it up to $110, okay? Just always round up so that we can make sure we have enough. So you definitely want to take that time because you want to get a handle on what it really takes for you to run the whole ship, to run your house. What do you really, really need? How much um, uh, of that do you really need to cover? Okay. And I want you to write that number down. Okay. Because that number is the number that we must cover. Okay. With your strings of income. So number two you want to um, set a financial monthly goal, okay? And so when you look at your expenses, if your expenses come out to like, it takes, I'm just gonna use easy numbers and round numbers, but if it takes $1,000 to run your home, let's say $1,000, um, what is your monthly goal? And your monthly financial goal should be more than the $1,000 because that is your minimum goal. That's what you got to have no matter what to run your house, but you want to set a financial goal. Do you want to make $10,000 a month, $5,000 a month? You know, sometimes people want to start smaller because if it only takes $1,000 to run your house, maybe your goal is $2,000 a month to start, okay? Um, but some people like to shoot for the skies and it's $10,000 a month, it's $20,000 a month. Uh, so it's really up to you. But if you're, you know, a little afraid to get your feet wet, then just double what your expenses are and start there because you can always up your number. So it just, I guess it depends on your personality, but make sure your financial goal includes what it costs 
to uh, your, your expenses that you just wrote down. So if your expenses to run your household is $1,000, your financial goal has to be over $1,000, okay? I suggest that it's at least double. That's my suggestion. Okay, number three, you wanna divide that goal. Let's say your goal is $2,000. You wanna divide it by three or four. So we're gonna divide it by, let's say four, that's gonna be $500, four sections of $500, got it? So you're taking that $2,000, you're dividing it by four and 2,000 divided by four is 500, right? So you, the four is representing four streams of income. And for each stream of income, you want to get $500. Now, I have, um, well, I don't even know how much, more than 10 streams of income. And so you can have the more streams, the merrier, okay? Um, but um, to start off, maybe you might, might want to just start with four streams of income or three, okay? Um, and I think everyone can probably achieve that. Um, it just depends on what you're choosing to do. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to take your financial monthly, this is a monthly goal, and you're dividing it by three or four. We'll just make it easy, divided by four, and 2,000 divided by four is 500. So if your monthly goal was 4,000, then your streams of income um, are $1,000 each. So we're trying to cover your um, expenses and we're doubling that, and then we're dividing it in fours, okay? So once you've done that, I've already told you that those four or $500 represent four different streams, okay? And each stream now for number four, you're gonna have to decide what you would love to do uh, or feel comfortable doing in your streams of income, okay? This is a stream, this is a stream, this is a stream, this is a stream. And so you have to choose what you are comfortable doing. Now I had, I neglected, I was gonna start my broadcast off by telling you the different and various streams of income I have on myself. So I'm gonna give you some of the ones that I have and that will give you a great idea. But let me just say, streams of income ought to be chosen based off your personality, your, um, your skill set. Um, your tolerance level, um, your resources, it ought to be take, tailored toward you because you can come on and uh, hear other people talk about their various streams of income, but you know, it's just something that you just don't like doing or you just don't understand. I do a lot of online businesses, so I won't name all of those, but I know some people who are terrible with computers. So if you are terrible at computers, you may not want to do some of those online businesses. You know, you may want to do something else. So let me give you some examples of online businesses that I have. One is I have a business. I have Alphabet Theater Workshop, Word Therapy Publishing, Wise Courtship Philosophy Group, and the Hustle Hub. So those are businesses that I have at various ages. I've had Alphabet Theater Workshop for an extremely long time, and the Hustle Hub is my new baby. So um, that businesses is one of my streams of income, but that one stream of income, I've now added, multiplied as four, four different other streams of income as well. But I just gave you that category, okay? The other category is um, books. As you can see, I got on this side. <laughs> I got a lot of books behind me, but those are not all the books that I've written or have, um, you know, have even published because I also, with my publishing company, publish books. So I make money even when other people sell their books as well as when I sell my books. So books are also a stream of income for me. The other is real estate. It's something that I absolutely love doing, getting homes and renting them out. So I just, that's something that I like. Some people don't like renting homes. They rather flip them. Some people like to, um, you know, get homes and for a low price, well, it's still the same as flipping. Some times people would like to find bargain homes, what we call wholesaling, and then they will sell it to investors. So there's a lot of things that you can do with real estate. I absolutely love it and I enjoy it. And so that's why I have a portfolio of real estate where people pay me rent to stay in my homes. And that is a huge stream of income for me. The other thing is stocks. Um, it's not as a big in, uh, income for me because I was getting my feet wet and just kind of 
trying to get to learn it a little bit better. Um, I don't particularly care for them. So that's why I haven't put too much emphasis in it, but I do make money from it. So that's something that you can do. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or anything that's going to pay you, <coughs> of course, a dividend. Um, this is something huge that I do, online courses. Um, I do a lot of online courses. So I'm constantly getting money coming in every time somebody takes a course. And the more courses, the, even the more books that I have, the more things people are buying. So for me, it's very easy to do an online course. And so that's what I do. Um, let me give you one more example. Um, and that is um, memberships. I have a membership site where people come on to learn something. They pay a monthly price. And um, the more people join, the more money I do make from it. But I really do um, enjoy that too as well because it's an opportunity for me to teach new skills to people, bring people together and see people grow. So I absolutely love that too as well. So I gave you some ideas, but there's so much more. And I'll probably talk about those in another video at some other time. So you definitely want to check it out. But listen, if you want to create streams of income and you want to get support and help in doing that. It costs a lot of money for my coaching sessions, but if you join the Hustle Hub Business Club, you know, for a small amount of money, less than 67 cents a day, you can um, come together and learn how to create streams of income. You literally can come virtually onto our mastermind session and be there with other Hustle Hub members and talk about your business or your ministry or your product or your service. If you don't know how to do anything, it's great for you. And if you already have your own businesses and you got streams of income, it's great for you. We have time for collaborations and all of those things. We learn, we grow. When the um, pandemic wasn't happening, we had meetups and all of those things. So make sure you go down into the comment section and join the Hustle Hub Business Club. And I'm going to make sure it goes across the screen too as well. But to click it, make sure you go down into the comments. And so I'm getting ready to go. I don't want to make this video too long. But um, tell me what you think in the comments about the streams of income I mentioned and how to create streams of income easily. Um, let me know your comments and also tell me what other things you would like to know and I'll probably make a video of it. Well, I've got to go. This is Tony Henderson Mayers. I can be reached on the web. And remember, I'd rather have 10 streams of income that drip than one that flows and stops. Take care. Well, hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell. Click it for me so that you will know anytime I upload a new video. Are you subscribed to the Wise Courtship Philosophy? Then you need to get your Wise Courtship gear at the Wise Courtship store. Go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All the letters are lowercase. They make amazing gifts from children, adults, men and women, jewelry, hats, cell phone cases, t-shirts, and more. Represent Wise Courtship by going to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship Store.